And another uh, universal gravitation question for, from the grade 12 physics section. Along a line connecting the Earth and the Moon, at what distance from the Earth's center would an object have to be located so that the magnitude of the gravitational attractive force of the Earth equaled that of the Moon? So in other words, where does this little rocket ship have to be so the force of gravity from the Moon and the force of gravity from the Earth are in balance? So first thing to do, definitely set up some kind of diagram so you can picture what's happening. It's going to be make things a little bit easier in the long run. So you've got the Earth on the left, obviously Moon on the right, and then the distance from the center of the Earth to the object, I call that RE, capital E for Earth, and the object to the center of the Moon is RM. Now one thing to remember is that in your, in your handbook or online or wherever you need to research values, you know what the Earth-Moon distance is. You can find that out. It's 3.84 times 10 to the 8 meters. You know what the mass of the Earth is. We have that value if we need it, which we will. And we have the mass of the moon. Those are always given to you. Okay, I'm not going to, unless I ask you a specific question to calculate what the mass of the Earth is based on some data. And you can compare it with, with a known value. So we know what the mass of the Earth is, know what the mass of the moon is, we know what the distance between the Earth and the moon is. We're trying to find how far from the center of the Earth this object is to be in equilibrium with the force of gravity from the moon. This stems from Newton's law of gravitation. Force of gravity on this object from the Earth is equal to the universal gravitational constant, mass of the Earth times the mass of this object. Okay. Just lowercase m right there, divided by the distance that object is from the Earth. Don't forget it's squared. Now we set up the exact same relationship, but we do it for the Moon. Force of gravity from the moon, which is the universal gravitational constant, mass of the moon, mass of the object, or distance of the object squared. If these two magnitudes have to be equal, opposite in direction, but the magnitudes are equal, we can just make these equations equal each other right now. So G, mass of the Earth, mass of the object, or distance of the Earth squared equals g mass of the moon mass of the object distance from the moon squared and I notice I made a little mistake up here sorry if you're copying that down as well I think I said it right but I wrote it down e instead of m for moon now you should notice some things are the same on both sides of the equal sign day divide each other out. So the universal gravitational constant divided out. Mass of the object doesn't matter because the force of gravity acts on it the same. So I end up with a ratio of mass of the Earth over the radius of the Earth, excuse me, not the radius of the Earth, the distance from the Earth squared equals the mass of the Moon over the distance to the Moon squared. Remember, the whole point of this question is to solve for the distance you are, or this object is, from the center of the Earth. That's what we're looking for. So to make things a little bit easier uh, to look at, I'm going to rearrange my ratio and put the masses on one side and the radiuses on the radii on the other. So cross multiplying gives me Me over Mm equals Re over Rm. And they're both squared, so I'm just going to do that. Because I'm looking for RE, I'm going to lose the square. I'm going to take the square root of both sides. So over here, mass of the Earth, whatever it is, I can look it up, divided by the mass of the Moon. Square rooted is the ratio of the distance to the Moon, excuse me, distance to the Earth over the distance to the Moon. Now we've come pretty far since where we started. We know two of these variables. We know what the masses are. We don't know how far this object is from the moon. Don't know that one. We're trying to find the uh, the distance from the Earth. So this is where your diagram comes important. You take a look at that again. One other piece of information we know that we didn't use yet, and that's the distance between the Earth and the moon. We know that the distance from the Earth plus the distance from the moon has to equal the Earth-moon distance. So RE plus Rm equals what I've called Rem. <laughs> Rem. And that's a value 3.84 
times 10 to the 8 meters. So we know that number as well. So I rearrange that for the distance to the moon. It's going to be Earth moon distance. Subtract distance you are from the Earth. Now I'm going to do a substitution step. This will go into the value of the, uh, the replace the variable the distance from the moon. So that when I have a new equation here, I'll do it in red, make it clear. The only variable we do not know is the distance from the center of the Earth. There we go. Doesn't necessarily mean it's an easy equation to solve. We don't have those very often, so we'll work it out now. Uh, the mass of the Earth divided by the mass of the Moon, square rooted, is just a number. So let's just work that out. Um, mass of the Moon, 7.36 times 10 to the 22. Mass of the Earth, 5.98 times 10 to the 24. So I'll write that in there now so you can see it. 5.98 times 10 to the 24 over mass of the moon, 7.36 times 10, let's say 22, right? Yep, 22. Those are in kilograms, square rooted. So that value, work that out just a second. Divided by 7.36, exponent 22 square root it, 9.01. Just a few more decimal places there. I'll keep them in my calculator and I'm going to write them all out. So that's the ratio of the masses and then square root it. That value equals the distance we are from Earth over 3.84 times 10 to the 8th Earth moon distance minus distance we are from the Earth. Looks kind of tricky, but Quick cross multiplying will make things a little bit easier. Okay, so cross multiply, and we end up with. I'll go back to black just to mix things up. 9.01 times 3.84 times 10 to the 8 minus re equals re. Distribute the 9.81 in. Don't forget it goes to both. first one becomes 3.46 times 10 to the 9 minus 9.01 RE equals RE. Add the 9.01 RE to both sides. So that's a plus on here, so it's going to be 10.01 RE. So you end up with a, you know, after all of that relatively simple equation, a number equals another number times our variable. 3.46 times 10 to the 9 equals 10.01 times the distance we are from the Earth. Divide, so divide both sides by the 10.01, which is just a matter of moving the decimal place. Essentially, 3.4 does 6 times 10, and that is to the 8 meters. So definitely kind of mathematically intensive, not impossible. Uh, that's kind of the beauty of physics is solving problems with the lowest number of variables that you, or quantities that you can be given. So again, recap, trying to find the distance you are from the center of the Earth. Equate the universal gravitation formulas for each object from the Earth and then from the Moon. Set them equal to each other. Uh, universal gravitation and the mass of the object divide out. Just a little bit of kind of math manipulation to make things look a little bit easier. The square root of the square root of the mass of the Earth divided by the mass of the Moon equals the ratio of distance from the Earth to distance of the Moon. Distance of the Moon is the Earth-Moon distance itself minus the uh, distance just from the Earth. Do a substitution. Now you can start putting some numbers in and the numbers aren't too big, they're not too bad to work with. Careful with your math and you get 3.46 times 10 to the 8 meters from the center of the Earth.